And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Melody. I'm Amy. I'm Holly. And today we're taking a look at a game called Telepathy. Now when Telepathy came out, it uh, was a, I looked at the cover and it didn't look that interesting. Um, so I, I, I probably wouldn't have given it a second chance, except I went to the website and read about it. And then it sounded more interesting, a two-player deduction game. Now you guys have played two-player games like this before. Most notably, Guess Who, right? Yeah. What do you guys think of Guess Who? I thought it was kiddish. Right. I like that game. Little kids. Do you like Guess Who? Yeah, you like the electronic one, I think. <laughs> um, so anyhow, I was hoping that this would be maybe like a step up from that. Let's hope so. Let's look. Each player is going to get a board that has 324 squares on it, 18 numbered columns, and then rows that are lettered A through R. You're going to pick one of these secretly on your board, so maybe you want to pick this one here, this orange diamond that's at G6. So you would write that on another board you have, G6, and it's an orange diamond. Notice I'm using this Expo pen because as in most games that come with these pens, they're pretty much garbage. So if you're going to get this, go out and buy a couple of these erasable pens which work really well. The game does come with a very nice little eraser that works well, just the markers weren't so great. So I'm then going to start guessing my opponents. So let's say someone is guessing mine. So they say, what they're going to do is they'll guess one. So maybe they say, I6 green lightning. So I look here, I6 green lightning. The six matches, so I say yes. All they know is that something matched. So on their big board, they'll circle that because they know that something matched. Let's say next time they pick H10 red circle. H10 red circle, nothing matches. I say no. So on their board, they're going to cross off red and they're going to cross off circle. And over here, they can basically cross off all the H's and they can cross off all the 10's. So they've essentially eliminated quite a few things. I mean, if you want to be thorough, I guess you could cross off every red square and every uh, circle too, if you wanted to. So you can narrow things down by getting a no. But if you get a yes, you also narrow things down because you know one or more of those characteristics are correct. Player's going to keep going back and forth and if you think on your turn you know what it is, you can just say, okay, I'm going to guess. I think your thing is G6 orange diamond. If that's correct, which it is, I say yes, and you win. If you're incorrect when you make this actual guess, then you lose. And that's basically the whole game. You can play team play with multiple players, but that's essentially the same thing as two player. You're just working together. Okay, telepathy. Amy, what do you think? I like this game a lot, especially since... Um you have to find your correct strategy to get the what the other whatever the other person's um code is. Okay. Melody always beat me. Holly? It's a little hard. The first thing you should try to do is just find out what their symbol is. Okay. Melody? Um, I like the game. It was a step up from Guess Who, in my opinion, and um, my way was always try to figure out, like Holly said, find out the symbol first, but it doesn't really matter what you figure out. Just get them to say yes to something and then try to break down what they said yes to. Well, you'll probably get the symbol or color first because there's only eight of each of those, but there's yeah. 18 of the rows like and 18 of the I like it more if they say no because then you get the X out more and you get closer to the answer. Right, right. So saying no is a, is a useful thing. And there's like 300 something different squares that they picked from. Right, easy enough. 18 squared is what? Huh? 18 squared is what? I think it's four. Okay, well, anyhow, why she's figuring that out. Um, telepathy, the cover doesn't look very good, and the markers aren't good, but other than that, I'm really happy with the game and how it comes out. I like the, it's, it's, it's fun back and forth. It, like Melody said, it is a step up from Guess Who. In fact, it almost has a feel like Battleship, except instead of finding all the ships, you're finding one little tiny ship. 
on, on the field. So you're trying to narrow it down. You, you know, there comes a point where if you think your opponent's getting it faster than you, you can guess. Um, or usually games will come down, I don't know about yours, but they come down sometimes where the other person guessed right before you were going to do it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is it? What is it? 356 cubes. Okay. Nice squares. Is that right? No, it's not 18 squared. Oh. But anyhow. No, no, no. 354. Ah. Okay. Well, that's different. <laughs> anyhow, um... Uh, telepathy here is a great two-player game. I don't. The team thing is kind of silly. It's just basically team on team. It's the same thing as player versus player, and you sit there and talk back and forth. I, th I think it's better. And and really, you're playing two separate games. You're just guessing at the opponents rather than, you know, you're not really interacting other than just answering the other person's questions. Kind of like mastermind if you're playing two players. But still, a lot of fun. Telepathy. Final ratings. Good job. I really liked it. Holly. Dice tower judgment. Good. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Boo. Boo.